Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Cooler air is banked up against the Brooks Range. We've got plenty of clouds up there, and once again, visibility and ceilings are down after a brief period of time yesterday where things were looking VFR. Across more of the northern interior and the west coast, rain is spreading in, and this is a signal to the change that will be with us for really the rest of the week. Many along the west coast and the interior with some exceptions, we'll be looking at a fairly decent opportunity for rainfall south of the Brooks Range and generally north of the Alaska Range and west. Some places could see as much as two and a half inches of rain and the lower end, maybe more like a half inch. But either way, it does look like interior rivers will have an opportunity to rise. And if you're going to be out there along the banks doing some fishing, hunting or just traveling, make sure you're paying attention to weather conditions and river changes as they come your way. Tonight's weather shows a better chance for rain and fog across the Bristol Bay region, the Alaska Peninsula, and westward along the Aleutian Chain. An area of low pressure there is working across the region and focusing rainfall mainly along the islands up toward Kodiak Island. But a decent south and westerly flow is going to blow up through south central. That will increase rainfall opportunities as we go through tonight and eventually even more so into Thursday, Thursday night, and Friday. Across southeast, the weather is changing very slowly. Gustavus had a little bit of rain yesterday and uh, tonight. It looks like you'll have a better chance for some light rainfall as we go into Thursday afternoon. As the onshore flow strengthens, expect more clouds. The uh, warm, sunny, dry days of July are now long gone, and it looks like the rainfall will gradually fill in as we go toward the end of the week. Across the interior, not a huge risk for thunderstorm activity, but showers will be a little bit more likely across the upper Tanana Valley and the upper Yukon Valley. Uh, the coolest air stays north of the Brooks Range, but unsettled weather will be found across most of the mainland, including the Seward Peninsula, Kotzebue Sound, and into Norton Sound. A look out west shows some stronger winds working through the Aleutians uh, late this week, a 997 millibar lows, not anything really to get excited about across the western bearing, but it will be focusing the wind across the chain and helping to add in stronger winds through the Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island, and the west coast. So don't be surprised to run into turbulence if you're flying out across the chain or the peninsula. Low pressure will also strengthen in the Gulf, adding, adding a healthier flow across southeast, so winds will become a little choppy there. Showers expected across most of the mainland, and rainfall starts to focus on southeast into the weekend. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.